Huh. Skull rack is empty. Aw. Nope. What about this last one? All well, these years, a few of the scrolls on these racks are still intact. On one hand, they may contain useful information. On the other hand, they may contain curses visiting upon you on unimaginable horrors. Read them. Scrolls contain writing in archaic runes. It's close enough to the runes you're familiar with to be decipherable. Describe herb craft of the fairies. You can now make the strength potion elixir. Sweet. Oh, hey, hidden room. I didn't even look for it. Read them. Hasting. Sweet. Even more sweet. Mistletoe, energetic herbs, strength elixir. Hasting drought. I need mistletoe and I don't have any. Ah! Darn it. <laughs> I need to increase her herb craft. There we go. Making potions is hard. A hall containing several marble pillars and a pair of huge closed metal doors. You don't have time to examine them though because several creatures are waiting for you next to it. Most are rats. One is a sprite. You recognize the sprite. It's the one who stole the scroll. When it sees you, it says in a high pitched voice, Too late, humans! The contract is gone! Safe from your hands! Ha ha ha! Sprite. No, not shielding. Lance of fire. Shelly leveled up. Dead Sprite. Haste Drought. And a Ring of Health. And she ended the line. The path uh, you have been following to a massive iron gate. Fifteen feet high and hot to the touch. Check the handle. The gate is locked. You notice the wall by the door has three holes in it, each cross-shaped about six inches high. The holes are positioned next to a massive door's handle. Maybe it's an unlocking mechanism. You examine it carefully, think about what you've seen so far in the catacombs, and realize that you're st stuck here. This door is too strong and too huge to break down, and you have no idea how the locking mechanism works. Your quest of shadow in Shadowville is danger of coming to an anonymous end. You should go back to Dolajan and report what you found. But I found these scrolls. So there's that. I'm not leaving until I'm done exploring this, though. Hey, goblins.
There we go. Javelins! How many do you have? Five? Not many. Javelins. Nice. Save those for someone special. I think that's the only way I haven't gone. Hmm. How would I get there? Eh, total healing again, yeah. I see. Oh, that's a magic barrier I can't get past. explored this place fully. There's a path over there I missed. That's terrible. It would be better to go outside and camp. Walk out of the catacombs exhausted, you find some creatures waiting for you. They're huge spiders. The markings on their bodies are slightly different from those of the huge arachnids you've seen before. They aren't working on webs or looking for prey. They've been waiting here patiently for you. One of the spiders chitters something to the others, they attack. They're intelligent! Crap. Arianas. Special ability. Call spirit. I summoned a fay. Just for fun. Poisoned? Do you know how rude that is? You can't purge venom with her. that guy yet? I can't. Lance of fire! Jeez, that hurt. Ow! You son of a gun. Where did I last save? 
Oh man. Spazin, frazin, ragin, 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 ragin. Jeez Louise, I can't believe this. Poison is just awful. I do have the curing draught, though. to him. Fun stuff. Charm beast, him. Now he's on my side. And everyone is poisoned. Sweet. Hostile giant lizard. But he's not hostile currently. Talk to the sprite. It's a sprite. And it dropped the haste elixir, which replaces the one I just used. Alright. You emerge dejected from the catacombs. The contract is surely out of your reach. Perhaps Dolagen will find some way to reach it. You can't believe the fairies would let their grand plan end in such a pitiful way. Oh, come on, I cleared these already. I don't think anybody has been here recently. The cleaning efforts seem to have been restricted to the center hall. This was... that was a text message I could have gotten earlier, but I didn't walk there. Turn to Dolajan and tell her how the corridor ended in a massive impenetrable door. She says, well... Well... She says, this is difficult. I do not know why the sprite turned on us, but I have my suspicions. In recent years, certain members of fairy kind of... fairy kind have grown... Well, erratic. Increased exposure to humanity humanity has had strange effects. Some of these strange ones are working against us. Some of these forces might even dare to aid the Romans. The contract might, even now, be winging its way to Shadow Valley Fort. No matter. She pulls from her armor another scroll. You will you walk up and take it from her. <laughs> Don't toss it this time. Return that scroll to your chieftain. It will tell him all he needs to know. As for me, I will stay here and teach any treacherous Romans who arrive a little lesson about our power. Now, go back to your village. Your work is done here. And good luck. If you fulfill your end of the bargain, your freedom will at last be within your reach. Go. She waves you away haughtily, dismissing you. Can I still talk to you? Nervously approach the fairy lady who looked who looks down on you with dis undisguised arrogance 
in disdain. She's incredibly beautiful, but her anger makes the effect anything but pleasant. So does the phone. The name I give to humans is Dolajan of the Seely Court. I came to deliver a contract. This is not working out. Now you must act. Pronounce Dola. Dolohan. Thanks. I was pronouncing it wrong. Tell me more about the contract. The first copy is lost to us. Hopefully I can prevent the foul Romans from recovering it. In the meantime, return the contract to your village. Now that there may be competition for you, time is of the essence. What is the Seely Court? The Court of their Fairy Majesties, Alberon and Titania. Titania. I have come far on their behalf, and my final task is for them is to await your arrival and deliver the contract to you. This was the plan, but then there were these unexpected difficulties. What difficulties have you encountered? I have fought all manner of beasts on the way here, slaying many to keep the message from being stolen. Then, all of that to be outwitted by a mere sprite. Oh, the indignity! Tell me more about Alberon and Titania? Her bland expression turns furious in an instant. You do not deserve to say such lofty names, mortal worms! Not after your puny, queek, quick dying humans have hounded my kind to the corners of the world. She realizes that she's lost her composure, calms down. Her expression regains its neutrality. Um, okay. Uh, what do you do here? Guardian warrior of the Seely Court. I was sent here to await your arrival and give you the contract. How long have you been a warrior? For 200 years, I have fought to defend the honor of the Seely Court, even as humans have encroached on our domains. Why don't you like humans? You humans, she spits out the word, you spread and spread, eating up more and more of our beautiful woods, our pristine fields. Each year, there are fewer lands left for us to live in. Thus, it has come to this, us asking for your help. Worst of all, the worst of all of them are the Romans. How do you feel about the Romans? Oh, the rap... rapcus... How do you pronounce that word? Uh, humanity. There are none worse than the Romans. All of fairy kind hate them, except the three hags. You know of the hags. You have encountered them, yes? For some reason, they have opposed themselves to the goals of the Seely Court. We do not know why. Perhaps one day it may be revealed. Until then, they may cause great troubles for you. Beware of them. They are ancient and powerful in the magical arts. What are the goals of the Seely Court? Those are outlined in the contract, or at least as, as much outlined as we wish you to know. Okay. Can I talk to your guard? This honor guard stands at her side, looking suitably arrogant and lethal. Okie dokie. Well, I get the feeling I'm not wanted here. Just don't go blaming me for your goof-ups. Letting traitorous sprites do stuff. Ooh, a thing. Another thing. What is this? Small shabby outpost set alertly out in the middle of nowhere. A small crude wooden building. Far too rough to be Roman. Inside you can hear loud, boisterous talking. It's a group of men laughing and shouting. You listen to them for talk for a bit. They definitely aren't Romans. However, they're not locals either. They're not from your tribe. You s they may decide to attack you on a whim. Enter the outpost. Log into the outpost. Enter. Find a small band of brigandy soldiers. They're alarmed at first, until you explain that you're from Nethergate. Once they find out you're on their side, they invite you in for mugs of wine and friendly chat. Fortunately, they aren't able to provide new spells or potion recipes or treasure in any form. Instead, they give you something more valuable, several hours of drinking and relaxation. Eventually, you stagger away much happier for your stay. Sweet! Whoa! Hey, guys! Oh gosh, he's still webbed. I delayed my action. Oops, he 
the wrong guy. Hey, level up! Ooh, that was interesting. As you walk through this clearing, bones crunch underfoot. The air here is strangely hot. There is a figure standing in the middle of an open area staring at you. Sure, it's a dead person, but that doesn't mean it can't be social. The skeletal warrior wearing tattered armor, bearing a rusty blade. It doesn't seem hostile. Oddly enough, instead he salutes you and waves you closer. Approach it. You approach the skeleton carefully, expecting an ambush at any moment. Pleasantly enough, it is as social as its steam from a distance. When you get close, it stares at you with empty eye sockets. It's creepy. It begins to talk a slow, hesitant, hissing sound. We have come to the gate. We are prepared to escort to the beyond. He waits for a response from you. You don't really have one to give. Eventually he continues. We are old and weak. My escorts are lost. Shades weakened, faded, blown away. I need them to perform my duty. I will reward for the effort. Will you do this thing? Sure. Skeletal warrior nods. Find my shades. They are lost, taken by the wind. Tell them where I am. Return my six warriors. There is reward. Reward in life. Okay. Now let's fight these skeletons again. Javelins are rude. Take that. Oops. Let's rest. There we go. Got rid of those webs, too. We've seen one of his, uh, missing warriors. It was up here somewhere? It was across the river from here. I'm at the stone gate. Which won't be relevant until later. You... Hmm. You notice a small ledge on the cliff above you. There's an old nest sitting on it, formed of mud and sticks. There might even be something inside it. However, it's about 50 feet up, and there are no convenient handholds, which would help you get up there. You probably wouldn't be able to make uh, your way up the sheer surface, but it wouldn't couldn't hurt to try too much, I'm sure. You make it about 10 feet up before you tumble back down, bruising your backside. There are a few, moment, a few more attempts you give up. If you had someone with you who could fly up there and look around... Well, nobody with us can fly now. That might change later, but right now we have no flyers. There's one of them. Hey, hey you, hey, hey, get back here. It's a shade here wandering aimlessly, or floating. This must be one of the lost ghosts the spirit warrior told you about. You start to shout at it, trying to give it directions back to its protector. There's a lot of screaming and pointing, the thing finally...